is another descriptor for molecules that lack a point with four different substituents attached, that's to say a chiral center, but they still have enantiomers. Examples of this are molecules that offer a helix shape. Imagine a propeller or a screw. When providing a stereochemical descriptor, instead of four substituents requiring prioritization, we just need to analyze two to identify the highest priority substituent near at the front and the highest priority substituent far at the back of the framework. Imagine moving from the higher priority near to the higher priority far. If that movement is clockwise, it's given the descriptor P for plus. And if the imaginary movement is anticlockwise, the descriptor is M for minus. This biphenyl offers an example. Let's look down the key carbon-carbon bond and depict what we see. There. Now we need to identify the higher priority that is nearer to us. This is a choice between a nitro group or a methyl group. Nitrogen is a higher priority than a carbon atom, so the nitro group has the higher priority. Next, we will determine the higher priority group far away. And again, there's a choice between the nitro group or a methyl group. So the higher priority far away is nitro. Now imagine moving from the higher priority near nitro to the higher priority far nitro. Here it is, a clockwise movement, and thus has the descriptor P. You look for substituents as close to the key carbon-carbon bond that creates the axis as possible that will give you an answer. So in this example, we don't have to go as far out as to the chlorine to obtain an answer. So we don't. In this case, we do have to look to the chlorine to get an answer. The biphenyl system demonstrates an example of atropisomers. These are stereoisomers that have a sterically hindered rotation about one or more single bonds where the conformers isolation has a half-life of greater than 1,000 seconds at 25 degrees Celsius. Tropos means turn and A, not. This is vancomycin, a potent antibiotic that even in these times of increased bacterial resistance can treat superbugs such as methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. This beautiful structure contains 18 stereogenic centers and three atropisomers, including one biphenyl and two diphenyl ethers, and has been synthesized by a number of groups. This is a spirane. If we view the molecule from this perspective, this is what we see. Of the nearer substituents, the methyl group is a higher priority than the hydrogen. And of the farther substituents, again, the methyl group is of a higher priority than the hydrogen. If we imagine going from the nearer higher priority to the farther higher priority, the movement is clockwise, plus or P. Next, we will address allenes, biphenyls, spiranes, and allenes all not only have a helix in their structure, but also an axial chirality. Imagine taking a point at a tetrahedral center found in stereogenic centers, although this specific thoroethane doesn't have a stereogenic center, and elongate it, stretch it out. Now you've created an axis. We always look down this axis, but does it matter which side of the axis we look down? Well, for this example, let's look at both possibilities. First, from the left side, the higher priority on the nearest substituents is the chloro group rather than the hydrogen. What about the farther substituents? Well, the methyl group is of a higher priority than the hydrogen. Going from the higher priority nearest substituent 
to the higher priority farther substituent involves an imagined anti-clockwise movement, so minus or m. Now, how about the right side view down the axis? This is what we see. The higher priority nearest substituent is a methyl group, whilst the higher priority farther group is chloro. We imagine moving from the higher priority nearest substituent to the higher priority farther group, so from methyl to chloro. This involves going anticlockwise, minus or m. So the descriptor answer M is derived if the allene is viewed from the left side or the right side. The ladies and gentlemen of IUPAC felt you weren't confused enough. So while helices are provided the descriptors M and P, axial chirality can be described as R or S with an optional A in front to tell you we are discussing axial chirality. Thus, if your molecule is both helix and axial, such as biphenyl, spirane, or allene, it can be indicated to be both M or P and R or S. Let's see how we would evaluate this same allene as R or S there is a critical addition to the rules followed to assign R or S to these axial cases when compared to those used to assign stereogenic centers. The nearer substituents have a higher priority than the farther substituents, no matter what the farther substituents are. Where there are the same substituents on the nearer and farther carbons, such as hydrogen in this case, then the nearer hydrogen has a higher priority. First, we will assign priority to the nearer substituents. We have a methyl and a hydrogen. So the methyl is the highest priority of all the substituents, nearer or farther. And the hydrogen is the second highest priority of all the substituents. Now, let's look at the substituents attached to the farther carbon. Well, the chloro group is a higher priority than the hydrogen, which is also on the farther carbon. But these can only be the third and fourth highest priorities overall. Thus, the chloro group is the third highest priority, and the hydrogen is the fourth highest priority. If this were on a stereogenic center, the chloro group would be a higher priority than a methyl group. But this is not the case here. Now, we view the molecule from the opposite side to the fourth priority group. But this is redundant, as with the given protocol, it's not possible to view it any other way the fourth priority must be on the farther carbon. So you are automatically viewing it away from the farther carbon, thus the fourth priority, and so the opposite side to the fourth priority. Imagining movement from the highest priority through the second onto the third highest priority, we observe clockwise momentum, so A, R. Recall the helix descriptor of this same molecule was M. And generally, M is associated with R, and as a result, P is associated with S. So, now you have a way to double-check your answer. What about another example? Here is another allene. We will view it down the axis from the right-hand side. This is what we see, but is it M or P? The higher priority on the nearer carbon is bromo, whilst the higher priority substituent on the farther carbon is carboxylic acid. It is a clockwise movement to go from bromo position to carboxylic acid position. So that is plus or P. 
What about R or S? The higher priority on the nearer carbon is bromo group, with a methyl group coming second. Because we are considering the nearer carbon, they are also first and second highest priority substituents overall, no matter what is on the farther carbon. Now, let's take a look at that farther carbon. It has a carboxylic acid and hydrogen attached, with the carboxylic acid being a higher priority than the hydrogen. If these four substituents were attached to a stereogenic centre, the carboxylic acid would be a higher priority than the methyl group. But not here. The carboxylic acid is on the farther carbon, so at most can only be third highest priority overall, which is what it is in this case. What is the movement from highest priority through second on to third highest priority. It is anti-clockwise, so that is AS. This confirms the association between P and S. The helix shape is extremely clear when it comes to helicines. When describing the stereochemistry, we don't have to assign priorities to functional groups. Simply use the nearer part of the structure and move towards the farther part of the structure. If that imaginary movement is clockwise, the descriptor is P. And if the imaginary movement is anticlockwise, the descriptor is M. In this example, we have a right handed helix. Nearer to farther is clockwise, so the descriptor is P. If we consider the enantiomer, it's a left handed helix. Nearer to farther goes anticlockwise, so the descriptor is M.